Hey guys, show we here playing more Danganronpa. Today is the next day from the last time I played uh, the last video, and I'm quite ready for the trial now. So let us begin. Also, because it's, I am recording during the day, I'm using webcam. Uh, I guess I'm the first one this time, says Makoto. Makoto. You're early, Makoto, says Kyoko. She appears from nowhere. She's like a uh, like a ghost or like a cat. Listen. Look, look at her, she just like popped out. Uh, what's... Does that mean you feel prepared? Uh, for now at least. But where's everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? They ran away from me for some reason. However... Don't worry, I'm sure they will be here soon. And everybody started appearing, I guess. Yeah, people are just being weird. They were all in the same state of shock. Hina? Um, it wasn't any normal silence. Where is Toko? It was the deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like the first class trial. Oh. Do you think that Monokuma told them something bad about me? And then... You called for me and so I appear! Hello. Oh, I'm on fire! My loins are ablaze. Yes! Now listen, says Genocide Jill. Everything will be just fine if you leave it to me. My beautiful scissors! With my scissor sharp scissors in hand, I'll stab and gauge and ship the master of evil. Mm. So, yeah, sh I thought so too. <laughs> uh, if it's what Master wants, it can be a boy, a girl, or anything in between. I can handle it. Okay, now we have Toko. Yep. No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> I mean, that that is a bit harsh, Kyoko. <laughs> No human language can describe how disappointed I am in you. Imagine if your father told that to you. Um, hoo -hoo -hoo. Is everyone here and wearing our gloomy gas faces? I see. Well now. Well now, let's begin. Thrills, chills, kills! Flee maximum sorrow. That's fine. You're right, says Kyoko. This is the final class trial. And this time it'll be fair. Will it? What do you mean this time, says Monokuma? Stop with all the slander. I'm a very good standing, you know. Unbelievable. If there was a Mr. Fergie Universe contest, I'd take home the tiara every year. I'm gonna win this game super fair and square. Today, I'm feeling white. You're feeling white? Oh, I see. Like, because he's white and black, I see. Uh, Stop talking. Enough of your tedious dribbles, says Byakuya. Begin the trial already. <laughs> you got. Okay. Laughing as loud as ever, Monokuma disappeared. <laughs> Whatever. In the name of my family. This will be over in no time, says Byakuya. What did he mean? With an inexplicable confidence, Byakuya was the first into the elevator. One by one, the others followed. Why is Hina so mad? <laughs> they, they are looking at me suspiciously. Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just disappeared into the elevator. Yeah, they, that hey. is... Yes, they are acting odd because they are suspicious of me for some reason. Are they gonna explain why? I wonder. However, um, but you know why that is, don't you? I don't know why. However, you can tell us all about it soon. What? So ready to win? <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. Um, I don't know. Why are they mad at me? Or why? They, why are they suspicious of me? I have no idea. I 
I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. Is he gonna be like deadly this, deadly that? Without warning, it began to descend. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper still. Deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And deeper and deeper. I closed my eyes and sighed. Fell away. What? I closed my eyes and sighed. Fell away. What can I say? <laughs> Just closed my eyes and sight fell up. Holy fucking... Who wrote this? Uh, this is the final trial site. <laughs> what you think? Says Manokuma. Uh, isn't it just the perfect background for deciding a person's fate? It's the long-awaited last stage. The always exciting final boss battle. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit in on this one. I'll just seat right here in the vacant 17th seat. Yeah, I wonder why. Thrills, chills, kill! Okay, let's begin. Uh, sure, let's save here. Open handbook? No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm perfect. I'm, I'm fine. Let's go. Okay. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. Mm-hmm. What is it, my man? Or my bear, I so guess. So listen up! If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school... You are Mukuro, though. You guys win! But if you can't... Then I win! And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super heart-pounding punishment! Heart-pounding. Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Yep, sure will. Yeah, he will kill the... Like the... The bear will not kill the person. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Okay. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Is the mastermind only one person? Hmm? Don't bother. I already know the answer. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me! Okay. So, everybody... But him is the mastermind. I'm right, aren't I? I knew it! What? Okay, I guess. That is the first question. The first question is whether the mastermind is one person or many people. Okay. I have group photo, interview DVD, Monokuma file, places to check. You guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right! Hey, you stole my line! You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. Huh? I have evidence of my own. What? What a coincidence. What I evidence too do have they evidence have? To present evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working together. Wh what? Wait, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? What? The only... Oh... Three of them think that everyone around them is their enemy. There is no doubt that this is a trap set. Uh, you guys have all been working together. So the only thing evidence. that I can. Hey, you still... You're all out to get me. I have evidence. What a coincidence! Evidence that proves every. What? Wait. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. I don't know. How could you? How can the three of us each have that kind of? Okay. Group photo. No, that's wrong. So, what evidence it's do they not have, just though? You three. I have evidence, too. Hmm? What? You two? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. Yeah, of course it's different because she isn't in the picture. Because she's the one taking the picture. In her thing, Makoto is in the picture, I think. With the picture you have, I'm in it. 
But that can't be right. Because in my picture... See? I'm the only one not in it. Oh... Makes sense. But still, look at look at Junko. You cannot see her face. Another picture where you cannot see, not see Junko, Junko's face. But you can see... Uh, uh, Mukuro, I guess. I figured as much, as much. In which case, Hiro, you have a picture too, right? Let's see it. Oh, I want to see it. Uh, okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. I guess. Oh, uh, and see, Yunko is not showing her face still. Look at that. Also, Hifumi is always with his freaking camera. So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret or whatever, I don't care. Can you I... guys are all in on this together. Can That's I see... why I'm the only one missing. What do you mean? You're not missing of the, in the other pictures, you idiot. Also, I want to see Biakuya's picture. But you're in my picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a trap? A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? Audacious accusations. Um, the proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap each photo has a certain something in common. There's a connection regarding what person isn't shown in the group photo. And that person is... The ones who got the photos. I got it! In Damn. each case, the only one not in the picture is the person who received it. Yep. So, in the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. Alright. And in the picture Hero got, he's the only one missing. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. Yes, please. I want to see Yunko's face. In other words, Did you see that? Monokuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. And Junko was had water on her face. You're freaking kidding me. That is Photoshop. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy? That's not what I assumed, but... <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? But you know, there might be more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There is something else that bothers me about everyone's picture. Listen, can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm sure there's something unusual about these group photos. Uh, what is it? I need to compare each of them to one, one more time. Yeah, I could just picture. Wait, what? Look at Sakura. That's a huge fish. Uh, Sayaka on the front. Makes sense. Kyoko too. Celeste is always wearing the same. Okay. Oh, even Mukuro is in the water. But... You cannot see Junko's face. Okay. Yeah, there is something strange. Can you just forget about the photo already? Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that. It's not fake, And on man. top of that, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. We were, though. Hmm? So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. What are you talking about? There's no way! Yeah! 
I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's gotta be a fake. I'm sure of it. It's not, man. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? Of course not. What do you mean? The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because they're fake. There might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. An unbelievable but entirely horrifying reason. Make your argument. Hangman's Gambit. Okay. Mm, what is it? Uh... I, I don't know. Ren? What, 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 what am I looking for? Man? Men? Uh, what am I looking for, guys? A? A? Uh, M? Amnesia, okay. Me? She? Ah. There you go. Now I understand. Let's say that somehow we'd all lost our memories. Yep. That could explain it, couldn't it? Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. Well, it makes sense if it doesn't make sense if you put it like that, but it makes sense in the great scheme of things. As if. You expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult-type story? You're freaking kidding me, you're the guy who believes in ghosts. Yeah! We all lost our memories? That's just... crazy! Is she crying? Look at the tears. It's only natural that they wouldn't believe it. But no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth, they have no choice. We can't move forward until they accept it. Okay, do I have um, bullets? What do I have? Group photo, interview DVD, I guess. Hidden room. Uh. You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. What about this? No, that's wrong. Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. Okay. This DVD does the same thing. You're not gonna show us something indecent, are you? <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. Yeah. When you say all of us, you mean... I mean all of us, including you. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. Will we get to watch the whole thing? The headmaster did, in fact, interview you. Another question, though. If Monokuma took the power of the DVD player, how did Makoto get the DVD out of it? Boom. What are you saying? I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. You expect me to believe all this? That I... I lost my memory somehow? Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here! Amnesia is real, man. Not like ghosts. What you talking about? To be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. Alright. Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the headmaster, right? Mm -hmm. What were the interviews about? The headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. 
What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously. Nope. Actually, we all said we could. Even me. I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Yeah, because the outside world is even worse. Why? Why would you say yes to something like that? I don't know. I don't remember a thing. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You don't remember choosing to live here forever. Or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? That's just insane! How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are, cause it's all true! Yep. What? What? I'm gonna start calling him Shoko. I know it sounds absurd, but... If it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. We only have one path in front of us. Alright. Then... We really... Yep. You all totally lost your memory at the same time! This is all... Making my head hurt. And this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. No, but... Genocide Jill remembers. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie! You figured that part out too, huh? Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. But how could someone just steal our memories? With the memory stealer that is in the school. How? Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brain? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now! Yeah, because the game doesn't want to explain it because they have no be good way of doing it. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you! The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Mm -hmm. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. The original motive. I wonder what that is. Well guys, we will find out on the next part. So thank you for watching. I will be uh, uploading the next part tomorrow and see you then. Goodbye.